Bob Moog, the father of modern synthesis, switched on the synthesizer revolution. Bob's early work on modular synthesizers led to a breakthrough moment with the commercial success of Switched On Bach by Wendy Carlos. The Mini Moog may be the most iconic mono synthesizer of all time. Don Buchla, a different approach to sound, life, and controllers. Don is recognized as among the first to create a modern modular synthesizer. He embraced MIDI right away and his groundbreaking alternate controllers like Thunder and Lightning assured that MIDI wasn't just for keyboards. Alan R. Perlman, bringing artist relations to the world of synthesizers. Alan Perlman's company, ARP, was one of the first to use famous artists like Stevie Wonder, Edgar Winter, Herbie Hancock, Santana, Quincy Jones, and many others, as well as getting the ARP 2500 featured in the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Ikutaro Kakahashi, the driving force behind MIDI. Kakahashi-san's impact on modern music is undeniable. He was behind countless revolutionary MIDI products from Roland and ATV that drove synthesizers, sequencers, drum machines, digital drums, computer interfaces, and the MIDI standard itself forward. Dave Smith, the American engineer who first proposed a universal synthesizer interface. Dave Smith created many iconic synths, including the Prophet 5 and the Wave Station. His sequential circuits was the only American company involved in the creation of MIDI between 1981 and 1983. Tsutomu Kato, listening to the artist's voice. From the Donkomatic drum machine to the M1, to recent re-releases of iconic ARP synthesizers, Kato and Korg, the company he built, always put the artist first. Dave Rossum, creator of technologies that enabled polyphonic synthesizers and sampling. Dave developed the core technologies behind the Oberheim and Sequential Circuits polyphonic synthesizers. His EMU samplers introduced the world to sampling. Roger Lynn, how a guitarist for Leon Russell changed hip hop. Roger was a songwriter and guitarist for Leon Russell when he designed the first sampled drum machine. The Lindrum and the MPC-60 have been at the heart of hip-hop since the beginning. He really brings MIDI at 40 and hip-hop at 50 into focus. Tom Oberheim, from the 1970s to today. His synthesizers have been sought out for their rich sound. The Oberheim system, a polyphonic synthesizer, drum machine, and sequencer connected by a digital bus, was the direct precursor to MIDI.